What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cool Cool Kicks. We are back for another video. Happened to be out of Van Nuys for work. So I figured I'd check out the shoe palette. It should be a quick visit, but we'll go somewhere else after. Let's go see what's up. One of the smaller shoe palaces, but I happened to be driving by for work. So yeah, let's go check it out. Damn, music loud as hell, but they are pushing these things. Okay, okay. The Air Jordan 1 elevates. This is the one with the really good upper and then they throw that crazy midsole on this was just a regular low like would be sick but and i think this is a women's size still got these in grade school it's a men's in grade school as well still got these left i'm surprised i thought these would sell out like super quick this is a size 12 and then got these i think this is a women's right oh look at this is this, is this a mid with like that good that good leather what the hell Tell me this is an SC. Yeah, that's an SC. 140 now? 140 for mids? Wow. Wow. Then also got these mids right here. This is a men's pair. Kind of going from kids to to women's to men's. This is a men's pair. 130 for these. This is an SC. And then this this one. I just showed this one a minute ago. They have a size 10 and a 12. So they got these available as well. Oh, and then I ignore the 11 low se just ignore those okay okay do got some slides on sale all these benassi slides normally 25 down to 15 bucks a few different colors a few different sizes the pink one right there the white one oh no it's like a look at that stuff in the back it, what is this like a carbon fiber type of look to it okay okay 15 bucks for those size sixes eights Got a few sizes, okay. Oh, and then these are 20 bucks. Oh, this is the this is the weird ones. The platform ones that sit a little bit higher. Those are definitely interesting, 20 bucks. These are the same as well. 20 for these, okay. And then they got these bad boys, the, the insulated ones. I don't know what the hell these go for, these. $20, these, these were on like 55, 60 bucks. And then the Adidas ones, these are 10 bucks. Okay, I don't know. Oh, these are oh these are like kind of in between, kind of like not super soft but not super hard. It is EVA foam. It looks like ten dollars though. Ten dollars. They only have a couple sizes. Size oh size six, size six, and more six. I don't know. Still got these Prestos on sale. Seventy bucks. I think that's the cheapest we've seen these. But I think that's about it. Not too many other sales that I am seeing. Um, I happened to stop by here because of work. I had to I had to visit someone right around here. Figured I would check just to see if they had anything crazy. Buck 20 for these? No, buck 10, my bad. Yeah, buck 10 for this. This is a wild colorway, dude. Easter pastel colorway, okay. And then I like these, man. This is like a classic, just the black and white blazer. I like this, I like with that little, what is this, like a gray color, gray color suede on the tip. I don't know why I like these so much. Dope, 100 bucks, not bad, not bad. I think that's about it, though. One of the smaller stores, one of the smaller stores, all right. Then we're gonna wrap it up, Let's wrap it up. And I know some of you guys are good with wearing you sneakers, some are not. I'm okay, depending on, on the condition, as long as they're in condition. All right, let's go take a look, see what they got. I have no clue what to expect. Okay, apparently they got little markdowns right here. So we're looking for blue and green tags. Let's check out my size. Check out my size. Hmm. Got some of the Reflective 13s from the Reflective Pack. Oh my goodness, terrible condition. And they're asking for 80 bucks, damn. Do got some Black History Month Air Force Ones. Uh, these are not in good condition. 80 bucks for these? Man. KDs from way back when? Oh my goodness, this is from way back. What, which, which KDs are these? I don't even know which one they are. These are size 10 and a half, going for 60 bucks. Is everything 60 here? Okay, finally got something in pretty good condition. They're asking for 200? That's, this is just straight resale price. Higher than retail. Oh man, that's why I've never hit this place out, damn. Dude, got some SB Dunks. In okay condition, damn, a buck 40? Buck 40 for these, really? Damn, okay. And 
Jordan 1 Lowe's. You can see it's been used, obviously. I don't see a price tag on this one, though. Checking out some 11s, a buck 25 for these. Damn, everything's above retail. Okay, okay, look at this. Oh my god, dude. Like, maybe if they were in decent condition, but these are pretty beat. Pretty beat. Size 11, buck 60 for these. Damn, look at that. Look at that leather, man. Wow. Size 11. This is. It's a top five. It is a Jordan 5 top three colorway. Like the leather's like all beat up. Look at that. Look at that. Dang, dude. And they ask it for two bills. Pretty much resale price, man. Jordan 1 low, buck 20 for these. And it's extra greased. Jordan 6 Chinese New Year from a few days ago. This is pretty dope. See, condition's not bad on this. Look, like the leather's pretty decent. Yeah, and this is going for 100 bucks. Size 11 to have that's a really dope deal. All right, so we are finding certain things. This is the other side right here. I think that could be cleaned. All right, so we are finding certain deals. This might be worth it. If this was my size, I'd think about it. That's not bad. What are these, Jordan? These were, are these? No, these are, oh, these are KDs. I was, I was like, are these Jordan like 27s or 28 something? Got some older KDs here going for 50 bucks. Pretty, pretty beat. Some mids going for 100 bucks. Dang, dude. Got some Griffies from a while ago. Griffies from a while ago. 60 bucks for these. These are beat though, man. Dang. They're asking for 30 for these. These are in pretty good condition, but like, I feel like I can get these used at, at Ross for 30 bucks. <laughs> Checking out the 12 plus now. Buck 50. Oh, this is a size 8 though. That's actually pretty, pretty decent size. It's actually really good condition. 150 for these. Okay. But I think these are under, I think these are under retail on StockX, no? Some trainers from way back when. I don't recognize these. Size 13. Pretty beat though. Pretty beat. Uh, it's 80 bucks. Is that is that the blue code? Does that mean it's blue tagged? Does that mean blue tag for 50% off? I just realized that. Holy crap. Okay. That's pretty beat though, man. Oh, I remember these. These were so awful. <laughs> the little laces on the side. These are going for 80 bucks. I think, yeah, these are the blue items. So six, so $80 for those. We've got some more mids. Go for 165 these are in pretty decent condition, but 165 really? Resale price? Checking out some of the smaller sizes. 100 bucks for these. These ain't too bad, I guess. Oh, they, there's another pair right here. 130 for these, so I guess, I guess they actually go through each one. Um, they're both about the same, they're, they're both about the same level of beat, beat up, I don't know. Got some reverse food poison games. Decent condition. Still asking for a buck fifty. This is a size. This is a size ten. Got some Air Max ninety eight. Go for seventy dollars. Got some more Air Max. Air Maxes. Air Max ninety sevens. I think this is a blue tag right there. All right. I guess. Guess that's what. That make it what sixty sixty seven dollars. I guess that's not that bad. I guess. Got some. Nondescript J's right there. Dang, I missed it. They got a little heat wall on the, on the sides right here, size nine. Got some tens right here. Decent, decent condition. Buck ninety though, retail. <laughs> I remember when these came out. These are at the outlets. Do you remember these? Two fifty for these. Red as for the other side. I think Jordan Pair called these the University Blues. I think I still have these. Around two twenty for these, size nine. Jordan 34s, animal print. These look brand new. Holy cow, okay, these look brand new. Two, 260. Damn, they just, damn, everything's just resale price here pretty much. Damn, this is one that I missed out on. I, I'm so mad that I missed out on these. Buck 80 for these. The Jordan 4 Neons. Pays how much the Air Max 95 Neons. Some Grape 5s going for a buck 50. Decent condition. Flint 13s, 
size nine. I guess this is 25% off with the green tag right there. Uh, these, they got some royal toes right here. Some royal toes go for 160. Not, not terrible condition. I'm trying to see if the tag looks legit. They actually do look legit. I don't know. I'm not great at legit. I'm legit checking to be honest. That's one of the reasons that scares me. That's one of the reasons I haven't bought one something at one of these places. Holy crap, they have a ton of stuff up here. All right, we're gonna take a picture. We're gonna analyze some of this. All right, so I did take a few pictures. Um, I tried to zoom in as much as possible, try to get as much information, but yeah, let's look at a few things. They did have some Jordan 4 topes, and it looked like it's used. You can you can see a little bit of wear on the sides. They're just trying to get those, they're trying to get 250 for those. They had some Raging Bulls right there. I believe the Raging Bull price was what, two, 250-ish as well. They had some Jordan 6 DMPs. Um, if you zoom in right there, you can see that they're going for a 180. And then these are all used prices too. That's what's, that's what's tripping me out, the fact that they were used prices. They had some Jordan 6 University Blues. They're trying to get 280 for those, 279.99. Had some uh, Jordan 10 Shadows, which are some that I've been looking for. 150, I didn't check the... Uh, the condition of those though maybe that was one of the reasonable ones maybe maybe one of the only reasonable ones um they also had some jordan 14 dmps right there they were going for 120. uh they, they look pretty beat up though they look pretty beat up uh but yeah th those are the only things that really stuck out they, they had a couple uh other things but i really couldn't tell the price tags because um i tried to i tried to look as much as possible all right, I hope by now I've had plenty of time to go over all the stuff behind the counters out there because they do have a lot of sneakers. Price is just high as hell, man. I'm not gonna lie, price is high as hell. All right, let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. All right, guys, so that was Uptown Cheapskate. Uh, the reason I stopped by is because, man, I've been watching some of these YouTubers, especially from other states. I haven't seen too many people go from California, but I have seen a Glenn from a Hustler Hacks who stopped by. I think he stops by most of the Play-Dohs, as well as Jake from Know It to Flip It. Both of them have got to Play-Dohs. They've got to Uptown Cheapskate, too, and they have found deals. They have found deals, but... Not at this one, man, not at this one. Uh, the prices were high as hell. Condition of the sneakers were just not, nothing to, nothing that was impressive for me. Um, there, there's just absolutely no reason for me to go out there. Maybe, maybe if you guys uh, search a little bit more and spend a little more time going through things, maybe you might find something, but man, I didn't see Jack, you guys. I did not see Jack. Um, I did make a mistake though when I was going through things um, they did have certain blue stamps they did have certain blue stamps and I didn't really identify that early enough so if you do go back and you do see they did have a few things that weren't priced too bad uh, you know they had these Jordan uh, the Jordan 5 top threes and they had those for 200 but they did have a blue tag so 100 bucks condition wasn't very good uh they did have these kd 14s they was going for what 60 dollars. they did have a blue tax of 30 bucks for those that these air force ones going for 125 not in good condition they just weren't in good condition but they would go for what 60 uh what is that 62.50 for those and then um the pumas they have those pumas going for what 15 bucks so so uh Maybe if you do find a blue tag or if you find a green tag or something, maybe you can find some deals. But um, I did not see anything. And I also just, I'm going to be honest, for me, it really wasn't worth it. You know, maybe, maybe it, you know, if the market crashes, sneaker game totally changes, maybe it might be worth it. But man, they're, 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 they're trying and they're, they're trying to, they're trying to go on the coattails of, of, of the sneaker resale market. And they're, they're trying to make as much as they can. Maybe I can't blame them because maybe people are dumb enough to go there and 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 and, and spend money on stuff like this. I'm gonna be honest. That some of the resale shops, the prices were a little bit more reasonable than this. Uh, the condition tends to be better at most of the resale shops, so I'd rather go to some of the resale shops. Uh, and 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 that is something that we might do. Maybe I might do that this week. Um, yeah, I, I think I might want to hit up. I think I might want to hit up. Uh, 
the Citadel one more time. I didn't get a chance to go there one more time, so maybe I might go there, check out the Reebok outlet, we'll see. But yeah, um, to me, not worth it. Maybe, maybe I might go back in six months, a year, maybe, we'll see. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Thank you so much for making it to the end. Y'all know how much that means to me. Make sure you help a boy out. Make sure you press that like button if you're new to the channel. Press that subscribe button. Click on that notification bell. Y'all know I do drop tons and tons of videos. And if you're new to the channel, y'all know I do. Uh, y'all should know I do drop a video every day. Uh, my goal is every day in the morning, there are days when I do drop two. So yeah, that, that's my goal, you guys. Provide you guys with plenty of content. And hopefully you guys come back. But yeah, see you guys next one. Peace.